Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of a function divided by time t. So we are going to look at division by time t. So the theorem can be stated as follows. If the Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s, then the Laplace transform the function f of t divided by time t is equal to the integral s to infinity f of u du where f of u is the Laplace transform of the original function f of t. So let us look at the proof. For this theorem we are going to use f of s is equal to the integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. In this problem, we are going to use the definition of Laplace transform, but the LHS will be f of s and the RHS will be the integral form of the definition. Now we replace the parameter s with u. Then we have f of u is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus ut f of f of t dt. Now integrating on both sides with respect to u with the limits s to infinity we have integral s to infinity f of u du. So this is equal to integral s to infinity and the original integral 0 to infinity e power minus ut f of t dt du. Now by changing the variables we have integral 0 to infinity integral s to infinity e power minus ut du. So this is the first integral and then we have f of t dt. So the integral inside the brackets is equal to e power minus ut divided by minus t and the limits are from s to infinity and we have f of t dt and this value is clearly equal to 0 for the first term and minus e power minus st for the second term and we have minus t here and we have f of t dt and this is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t over t dt. So clearly this is equal to the Laplace transform of f of t over t. Therefore Laplace transform of f of t over t is equal to integral s to infinity f of u du. Now let us look at an example illustrating this property. Given Laplace transform of sine of t that is sine t is equal to 1 by s square plus 1 then Laplace transform of sine t by t is equal to integral of this Laplace transform with the limits s to infinity and of course the s is replaced by u square plus 1 and the limits are from s to infinity du and now by using u equal to tan theta that is by changing the parameter u to tan theta the limits become for s equal to tan theta theta is equal to tan inverse s and for for u equal to infinity that is tan theta equals infinity and theta equals pi by 2 so this integral becomes integral tan inverse s to pi by 2 and u square plus 1 becomes 1 plus tan square theta which is secant square theta so 1 by secant square theta so the numerator is du equal to secant square theta d theta so this is secant square theta d theta and this must be equal to tan inverse s to pi by 2 and the value is clearly equal to 1 d theta and this should be equal to pi by 2 minus tan inverse s and for tan functions this is also equal to tan inverse 1 by s therefore the Laplace transform of sine of t by t is equal to tan inverse 1 by s thus when the function f of t is divided by time t then its Laplace transform is equal to the integral of the original Laplace transform with the limits from s to infinity thanks for watching